Hey guys, and welcome to our seventh episode of Hust Nation, where I give you guys tips and tricks on the home buying and mortgage process. Today, we're going to talk all about the seller and the seller side of things. So let's get into it. Similar to a buyer, uh, you got to know why you're selling. Uh, usually, you have certain goals or things that uh, happen that that make you sell. Uh, could be divorce. Could be you need more space. Could be you need less space. Uh, this can factor in things like, do you need a quicker close? Can you hold out for uh, getting the, the top dollar or the top uh, purchase price for your house? Everything uh, plays a factor as to why you're selling. So having those goals and, and knowing those ahead of time will really help things out. So when you sell, you have many options as to how you can sell. So the first would be uh, for sale by owner. So this is basically you do everything yourself. You'll take pictures yourself. You will list it online, usually Zillow or Craigslist yourself. Market it yourself, might get a little uh, you know, for sale sign at like Home Depot or something. Uh, so everything is done yourself. Uh, the pros to this obviously is it's very cheap. Basically everything, just kind of you do it on your own. Um, some of the negatives might be, however, that it is uh, time consuming and if you need help, there really isn't a whole lot of options as far as going to help. Really Google or if you have any friends who might be able to help are, are really the only options. So another option would be some type of online service such as OfferPad or OpenDoor. So these are very convenient and very nice because literally they can go to your house, tell you what they think it's worth, and give you a cash offer right then and there. So it's very quick, very easy. Uh, I would say it's ideal for people who absolutely need to move as soon as possible, whether it's a job offer or it's something that uh, they just need to get out of there quick and they don't really care too much as far as the price goes. So that's a, a good good pro there. Uh, the, the downside to those is that usually the, the offers from these companies are not gonna be the full market value. They do have overhead, they do have costs, so they will have to make a little bit of profit somewhere. So usually what they'll do is they'll either undercut it a little bit on the sale uh, for what it's worth, so maybe 10, 15% there, or they might do that and also charge an extra fee as far as a transaction fee, as far as a buying fee, whatever it might be, and another couple percentage points there. So depending on the on the uh, the house and everything, could you know p potentially lose out on on tens of thousands uh, of dollars. But for people who uh, need a quick listing or quick cash and need to get out as soon as possible, I think it's a really good uh, system and idea, and I think it works. Uh, for everyone, I'm not so sure about, um, but again, there's a there should be a market for them and it might be a good option for you as well. And then the more traditional option would be going through a real estate agent like myself. Uh, the good thing is, uh, many good things, but the good thing is as far as the fees or commissions, all you're paying on the seller side is just the broker commissions. Uh, so not a ton there, usually a lot less than what OfferPad or, or one of those companies would, would charge. Um, also, they will market it in the local MLS as well as online Facebook, Zillow, all those websites as well. The biggest thing I think and biggest value that I think that they can bring is that they can uh, go through everything with you um, step by step. So if you have questions on something, if you need advice as far as a purchase price, you know where to list it or needed questions or needed help on say just simple repairs or renovations just to get the, the best possible uh, bang for your buck if you're looking to try and, and do that. They can offer that advice. Uh, they will work with writing the contract. They will work with negotiations. So they're really uh, another person in your corner when you want to sell it but you don't know everything obviously and you want to still get a good deal. Um, I recommend real estate agents for most people uh, other than certain situations just because I feel like they can give you that service and that touch uh, you know, what, with what most people need. But in general, I mean, you have many options when it comes to selling your home and you know, you should go with the best one that, that you seems fit. So again, there's many, many ways that you can sell the, your house. Uh, so there's uh, sell, for sale by owner, you do it yourself. There's websites or, or services out there such as OfferPad or OpenDoor where they'll just buy it from you and then take care of it from there. And there's the traditional real estate agent as well who can help you out and guide you through the process. So this week's episode is just kind of determining what works best for you, knowing what options are out there. Um, next couple of weeks we'll, we'll focus more on the selling side of things. 
Uh, so again, thank you guys so much for watching. We're putting out, we're trying to put out a new video every week. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, please let me know. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, obviously. Uh, feel free to email me. So ryanmhusser at gmail.com can answer you guys' questions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,